hello youtube welcome back to the channel so in today's video video we're going to go ahead and start a course on uh lang chain so what is lang chain don't worry if you know what lang chain is we'll cover all of that this this course is aimed at completely beginners and always interested in learning lang chain for more like from a beginner level to intermediate level well this course is a perfect fit for you so let's get started and see what this course is all about and what basically lang chain is so if you know what lang chain is well lang chain is a framework for developing applications powered by large language model so you probably heard this word of uh, llm i don't know if you, you come across this term llm right llm stands for large language models such as chat gpt uh hacking phase and all those uh, other large language models out there basically langchain will help us to build applications that use uh, uh, take advantage of this lang large language model so for example you want to build an, a chatbot right that uses chat gpt right you can use langchain to do exactly just that so that you connect your chatbot to chat gpt and then be able to pull uh, send some uh, some prompts to chat gpt chat gpt responds and you get back the prompt and do different uh, uh logics with this with the stuff right so this is what lang chain basically is it helps you interact with large language models it abstracts all the difficulties and all that uh, api calls for you so that things are much much easier to work with so why to you use lang chain so basically lang chain is a big big uh change in the, basically i can say it's a game changer so why is LangChain a game changer? Well, LangChain enables you to connect your application to large language models. It also allows you to uh, basically interact with different data sources. Let's say that you are building a large or basically a chatbot that's going to be interacting with your data. Let's say that you have an e-commerce store and you have some data about different products, right? And you want to be create a chatbot that is based on the based on that specific data, a bot that can answer their their information questions about their your basically what products you are selling, right? So basically you can combine you can use langchain for that because you can combine basically you can provide your data access to your data to langchain and langchain can also uh, help use the help of llms to create that database to answer the question of the user in a very much friendly way more like chat gpt but now using your all your application specific data langchain also is a big advantage and a game changer because it also allows you to create the internet right so we'll look at all that just in a second so let's look at the basically the use case of of uh of langchain so one of the things i mentioned is langchain can be used to build chatbots you can also be to analyze data so you can uh if you have structured data in a database you can connect with it lang chain and a language model such as a large language model such as chat gpt and basically you can query for any information and lang chain will use the help of chat gpt or any lang large language model you're using to answer those specific questions along with your database right so it, it provides you a variety of large uh, language models so there are very, very variety of large language models such as uh like chat gpt the most common one and then you also have a uh, hugging phase and its own its own versions of llms right so it, basically you can connect with a very variety of llms using langchain so answering questions uses resources like you can create, create your, you can connect langchain to your database and then basically get the information from there and use it to answer different questions about basing on your database right so uh, also using an llm so answering the current event questions like as i mentioned earlier you can use langchain to co uh, to connect to uh, basically the internet for example current limitations of uh, large language models such as ChatGPT right now is basically they are trained on past data right they don't have information of current events so if you go on online and ask ChatGPT what is the current date of today to tell you something like i don't know what the current date is right so it doesn't have access to all that information well langchain uh takes that uh what chat, what these large large language models provide you and builds on top so it gives you a, a functionality or ability to query online resources so you can query a uh, date information you can create a database you can query anything you want right so basically you're trying to build an application that deal, deals with currency conversion right so you need to get the current uh, conversion rate from the internet right so if you're using an application such as uh, uh, basically an llm like chat gpt it can do, do that right because it doesn't have no what the current uh, exchange rate is between two different currencies well langchain solves that problem because langchain can connect to an in the internet pull the current conversion rate between the two currencies and then perform the calculations for you, right? So talking about calculations, LangChain because we use to perform mathematical calculation. Uh, we'll look at something called uh, tools in uh, as you go along the course and tools help you to get access to uh, different functionality. Like for example, current LLMs like ChatGPT are not very good in performing mathematical operations, right? So LangChain provides you with what we call tools and these tools are trained to do specific things for that. For example, there can be a tool like math for math, which is just going to be doing mathematical calculation. There can be a tool for searching Google uh, and, uh, and other stuff like that. So that's all we're going to be going. Uh, basically, basically, these are the uses of LangChain, right? 
So let's look at the course outline and the interview that you're going to learn throughout the course. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and set up our development environment to learn how to install uh, Jupyter Notebook, how to set up environment, how to get our uh, register on OpenAI and get our API keys because in, to, interact, to, to interact with uh, uh, OpenAI uh, APIs like ChatGPT, you need an API key. So get all that API key we'll first and then go ahead and build a simple predi uh, predictive uh, predictive model with OpenAI. And then first of all, go, uh, then go ahead and look at uh, chat models, look at prompts and prompt templates, look at chains in LangChain. So if you know how all these are, don't worry, we'll cover all of them. Okay, so also look at agents and tools and also look at memory management in LangChain. Okay, so these are the things that we'll be covering out in this course. So this will move you from a complete beginner to a bit intermediate level because long chain, a lot of things are changing daily, right? So it's a fast moving field because right now AI is on a big hype. So now let's talk about the first we're going to cover in this video is learning how to install and set up our development environment. So we're going to be using Jupyter Notebook for this, but for our development environment. So we need to have Conda installed, okay? Uh, basically Anaconda. So if I say Conda, I basically mean Anaconda. So you need to have Anaconda installed. And I'm not going to go ahead and show you how to install Anaconda in this video. Uh, so you can go ahead and find, uh, basically, there are a lot of articles online uh, giving instructions on how to install Anaconda. But if you guys are having any issues, you can just let me know in the comment section below. I'll do my best to help you. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you have Anaconda already installed. So let's go ahead and create a, basically, create a, a, our own development environment. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and create a Conda environment. So I'm in my folder where, uh, basically, I'm going to, this folder is contains all the files I'm going to be using for this course. So I'm in there and I have only one file. I have only one file in there, which is a .env file, which contains my secrets, like a API keys and stuff like that. And I'll show you how to set up all that test in a second. So once I have all that done, uh, what I want to go ahead and do is create my own uh, virtual environment using Anaconda. So you can see I'm on the base environment. Now I want to create a, a basically our own uh, for this specific course. So the command to use is if you go back in here, we have all the commands right here. So this is a command that you're going to use to create our Conda virtual environment. So we're going to so let's jump on to creating our own uh, virtual environment in Conda. So I'm just going to go in my terminal right here and I'm going to go ahead and say Conda and say create and then hyphen hyphen M and give it a name. So I'm going to call this one Langchain, uh, Langchain underscore course, just like that and press enter. So it's going to go ahead and create for us a Conda virtual environment called uh, Langchain course. Okay, so I'm going to press say Y and press enter. So that's going to go ahead and create for me that environment. So now that environment is created, we need to activate it because right now we are still in the base environment, okay? So to do that, you're simply going to go ahead and say Conda, right? Conda activate, and then finally the name of the virtual environment which is Lang Chain underscore cause, right? And then press Enter. You can see now you have that virtual environment activated. So you can see it right here. So we have that virtual environment activated. So once we have all that activated, what I'm going to do is I want to install Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to say Conda install, and then say Jupyter and Notebook. Okay, so Notebook and then press enter. So that's going to go ahead and have all that installed. So this might take a bit of time, depending on your uh, on your computer speed, your internet and stuff like that. So let's give it a bit of time. And if you reach this uh, point, just say yes and press enter. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and install a couple of libraries uh, for you. So once that's done, you're going to go ahead and install the other dependencies that we need. So let's go back in here. We also need to install Langchain. We also need to install uh, OpenAI, which is basically the Python library to help us to interact with uh, ChatGPT. Okay. And then the long chain is what you're uh, the cause on long chain, right? The long chain. So that's the framework you're using. So I'm going to uh, clear the terminal and I'm going to go ahead and do uh, simply pip install long chain. Okay. So pip install long chain, uh, long chain, uh, just like that and press enter. So once uh, that's done, I'm, it's going to take some time and it's going to install uh, long chain for us instead of our Conda environment. Okay. So once that's done, I'm also going to go ahead and install OpenAI, right? So this may take a bit of time, so just give it some time to install uh, because you can see the libraries are a bit huge, right? This one is 17 MB, so it can take a bit of time depending on your internet speed and your uh, computer, uh, how powerful your computer is, okay? So yeah, it looks like basically we are done. So we're going to go ahead and install now OpenAI. So uh, let's just wait for this to, to be, get done. Great, so once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and install uh, OpenAI. So I'm going to say uh, pip, all right, pip install, and then say pip install. Uh, this is going to be OpenAI, then press enter. That's going to go ahead and install OpenAI for us, okay? So once that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and clear this. And I'm also going to install one more library, and it's going to be pip uh, install, I'm going to install, I'm going to install python hyphen dot env, just like that. It's a python dot env uh, uh, library, okay? So once I have that installed, we are good to go. And I'm going to go ahead, you can see I have a value called .env. So the .env is just an environment variable that contains 
my different secrets like my my api key and stuff like that okay so i cannot show you what is in that file but basically to create that file you can just create a file on your system and just call that file.env to do that if you're on a mac on a, on a macbook and on on the linux you can say touch and say .env and that to create the .env file for you and uh, once it's created you can open up your gui and you can find the file right here so i, I don't want to open it because it has my secret keys and other stuff like that okay so go back inside of uh now you need to go ahead and create uh an open an open ai account so that you can have access to uh to their their api keys and stuff like that okay okay so good so let's go ahead and do that by the way i have uh, basically the written article of this video as well so if you want you guys want to go ahead and check it out it's all here as well okay so now you know to go ahead and create the open ai key so i'm just going to open this one and just simply say uh basically open ai and just say open ai or you can just say yeah let's say open ai and just simply log in there so open ai and just go ahead and click on this right here and just go ahead and get access so just say login okay and you log in with your whatever email you're you using so once i'm logged in i'm just going to go into the api section and then simply go ahead and uh, in here i can go ahead and have access to just go on your account and then go ahead and click on uh, api key so view api keys and here are your different api keys right so if you want to create a new api key, you can just go ahead and say create new api key and then use that api key so once you have the api key just create it and copy it once you have it created you just what you need to go ahead and do is, is you need to go back into your env file and inside of your env file you need to go ahead and say uh type out this and then simply say equals to and paste the 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 api key that you just copied from uh open ai okay so i'm i've already, already done all of that already so I assume that you've already done that as well so basically just go ahead and type this inside of your uh, virtual environment say open ai underscore api key and then equals to and then paste uh, you say you can use quotes or you cannot use quotes it's fine if you want to use quotes i just paste uh, the the value the op uh, api key that you got from in here okay okay so i assume that you already have that done and i already have that inside of my i already have that done already so i'm going to go ahead and simply open up my jupyter notebook just like that and press enter so once this is done, uh, basically I'm just gonna go copy this and move it to a new window. Yeah, so I just copy this into a new window and you can see it right here. So I'm just gonna say, don't show this anymore and just say, okay. So this is what we have right now. So you can see right now it's completely empty, right? So it's going to open it, make sure that you are in the, the directory in which you want to use before you open, you type in this command. So make sure that you're in, inside of the directory in which you want to use, okay? So in this case, I'm inside of Langchain cause uh, uh, basically Jupyter Notebook. So that's the directory in which I'm in, right? So good. So once I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and create. Uh, I want to create a new folder, and I'm going to get, call this folder. I want to rename it again. So go back, and just say. Uh, let me just say, click on this section right here, and then click on rename. I'm going to call it basic. Uh, basic to intermediate. Or just call it basic. Okay, and just simply open a basic. Basic. Now in here, I want to create basically uh, a notebook. So I'm just going to go ahead and simply say uh, Python three i i uh, ipi kernel, and then press that ipy kernel. Sorry. And once that's done, you can see we have it right here. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit so that you guys can see. So basically, this is now Jupyter Notebook. And this is what we're going to be using for this course. Okay, so once I have this opened up, what I want to go ahead and do is now to make sure that my virtual environments are properly running. So to load in our virtual environments, we need to imp import a couple of things. So I'm going to say from dot, uh, from dot, it, takes, it looks like taking a bit of time to load. I don't know why. Let me just close this for now and just leave this and then go back in here and then reopen it. Okay. So yeah, once it's open, now I can give it a name. I can call it, let's say, lesson uh, underscore zero one. Okay. And then in here, I'm going to say from dot env, I'm going to go ahead and import. Uh, I want to go ahead and import for a load underscore dot env, just like that. I'm also going to go ahead and import OS. This, uh, these are two libraries will enable us to load the environment. So maybe I just install Python dot env, and this is what you're going to use it for. So in here, I'm going to say, just type in the percentage sign and simply say load underscore dot env so load.env and then i just type press uh basically basically i need to say dot ext and then basically say dot env just like that and then simply uh that's basically all i need and also i'm going to go down here say percentage sign and then simply say dot env and then press enter so this is going to load our virtual uh basically our environment in here so now you can go ahead and access these things instead of our code so you can just say api uh let me just say open underscore api underscore key is going to be equals to and then simply say os dot uh, env and then finally press this and then type in the name of the virtual basically if i go back in here 
uh, sorry, go back in here. Remember, you use this name to create the, the virtual environment, right? So copy that name that you have instead of your ENV file. And basically, bring it in here and just simply place it right here. So that's going to go ahead and simply load. Okay, it looks like uh, OS dot. I think let me just see the command. I think I got the command there wrong. So let me just check out the right command and uh, make sure we have that right done. Okay, so I think I made an error right there. So the command is basically environ. Okay, that's basically the command. So that's basically what we need. And just press enter. So it says that it looks like we, I don't have this key instead of my uh, my env file. So let me just check my env file to make sure I'm getting the right key. Okay, so let me just check that and I'll be back. Yeah, so I just checked that out and I'm going to go ahead and simply place the right key here. So this is open AI underscore API underscore key. That's what I call it instead of my virtual environment, my env file. So now that's all running. So basically in your env file, you have something like this. And then just say, say equals to, and then simply that's where your API, uh, basically open API key goes. So it starts as something like SK and then hyphen and then some gibberish stuff, right? So that's basically what, how, what you need to have instead of your .env file. Okay. And this name is what we are using right here. Okay. So let's get that out of the way. That's basically how you load inside of, that's how you load your env file, basically your environment variable. So now we have everything set that we need to do. So in the next video, that's where we're going to go ahead and cover how to work with uh, basically build a predictive model in uh, using OpenAI. So basically to chat GBT and LangChain. So that's what we're going to be covering in the next video. So you guys stay tuned and see you in the next video and keep safe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Keep safe.